Today to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Prime Secretary for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. They've got a real treat, courtesy of the Squire, who's lent me this record. Very dull day today, isn't it? Awful. I should be out sorting records, but uh, there we are. Anyway, it's, as I say, thanks to the Squire, his master's voice, B9204, Could You Please Oblige Us With A Bren Gun, by Noel Coward, sung by the master himself. He was almost if he was in the room then. Here we go. As far as I know, there are no other copies of this on e um, not eBay, YouTube. Right, here we go. <laughs> Colonel Montmorency, who was in Calcutta in 92, emerged from his retirement for the war. He wasn't very pleased with all he heard and all he saw, but whatever he felt, he tightened his belt and organized a corps. For Colonel Montmorency thought, considering all the wars he fought, the Home Guard was his job to do or die. But after days and weeks and years, bravely drying his manly tears, he wrote the following letter to the Minister of Supply. Could you please oblige us with the Bren gun? Or failing that, a hand grenade will do. We've got some ammunition in a rather damp condition, and Major Hutt has an arc with us that was used to Waterloo. With the bigger stirrup pump, a pitchfork and a spade, it's rather hard to guard an aerodrome. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home. Could you please oblige us with the brand gun? We're getting awfully tired of drawing lots. Today we had a shipment of some curious equipment, and just for a prank they sent us a tank that ties itself in knots. On Sunday's mock invasion, Captain Clark was heard to say he hadn't even got a brush and comb. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home. Colonel Montmorency planned, in case the enemy tried to land, to drive them back with skill and armoured force. He realised his army should be mechanised, of course, but somewhere inside, experience cried, My kingdom for a horse! Poor Colonel Montmorency tried at infinite cost of time and pride to tackle his superiors again. Having just one motorbike, 14 Fords and a Marlin Spike, he wrote the following letter in the following urgent train. Could you please oblige us with the brand gun? We need it very badly, I'm afraid. Our local crossword solver has an excellent revolver, but during a short attack on the fort, the trigger got mislaid. In course of operation planned for Friday afternoon, our orders are to storm the hippodrome. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home. Could you please oblige us with the brand gun? The lack of one is wounding to our pride. Last night we found the cutest little German parachutist. He looked at our kit and giggled a bit and laughed until he cried. We'll have to hide that armored car when marching to Berlin. We'd almost be ashamed of it in Rome. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home. Well, that was fantastic, wasn't it? It's a song I really like. And the, the, the version I particularly like is the Dad's Army team of... Um, Corporal Jones and Captain Mannering and Sergeant Wilson singing that. Wonderful stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.